Marauders has been out for about a week now and I've been really enjoying my time doing quests, killing, extracting, looting, dying, dying repeatedly, losing everything, all that good stuff that comes with the genre, right? So here I was just trying to do some quests. I think I was just trying to kill or destroy a radar tower. So I came in with nothing and then I saw this capital ship that was just going to ruin my parade, right? I was just trying to get away. I didn't want anything to do with it. And of course it blows me up, right? So here I'm scrambling. I'm scrambling to my air, my AirPods, trying to, my AirPods. Yeah, my AirPod, it's what it's called. <laughs> I'm just trying to scramble to my AirPod. I'll get a fire extinguisher at the very least so I could sell that as an extract. So I could leave with something at least, right? Cause I was just gonna look for the tower. Couldn't find it. I was just gonna go to another map. But then I, I was just thinking to myself, why not just board it? I have nothing to lose. All these players right now that they're going in, they have everything to lose and I have nothing. Absolutely nothing to lose.
quick flashback to how the first time I opened this door went. So I'll, you could say I was a little cautious this time around. Because this is only the second time I've boarded this ship before. But thankfully no turret this time. Looking at all the gear we got from this little mini raid, it went as well as it could have. We went in with nothing. We got a toolkit. I can make more containers. I got a supply drop. I'd never gotten one before. We got an STG. We got an Uzi. We got red armor. We got a med kit. We got a couple war bonds. I am so stoked, but I have a whole bunch of stuff in my stash, so I got to move around for this supply drop because I'd never gotten one of these. I don't even know what's inside. I know I can sell it. I tried looking after at the trade and it gives you 10k so I would imagine it gives more than that. So I finally make room for it. I'm going to open it up here. And we got two pump shotguns which I guess is cool. I've never seen that gun before and two war bonds. I wanted to inspect this gun. I didn't know much about it. I didn't know how good it was. I wanted to see the damage and stuff. So I open up the weapon menu right. And if you couldn't tell already, I'd never opened the supply drop before. And if you have, you're probably already cringing at the fact that what I'm gonna about to do next. I'm about to hit escape. So I just lost everything. Everything in that supply drop is 
gone forever. Which might not seem like a lot, because it probably was at most 35-40k, but I mean, I was sitting at 116,000, which may seem like a lot, but any little raid pull you can get like that, you kind of have to take advantage of it. So I was already excited getting back to the end screen. I was like, this is this is the start of the snowball for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to a million super quick and then this kind of messed up my morale. But I mean, you know what? That's fine. Cause I mean this genre of games will bring you the highest of highs and the lowest of lows, but for like a game like this, you kinda have to have like a short term memory. The style I was going for this video was sort of like gameplay at the forefront. I didn't want to talk too much because in a game like this, that's like very tense. It kind of deters from the gameplay in a way if you're talking over it too much. So that's why I tried my best to keep the talking before and after the gameplay. Don't get me wrong, like if you're doing like a tutorial, obviously you have to talk during. And if you're just having the gameplay sort of as background, it's okay to talk over it but when it's like the whole point of the video is like me going in with just a gun i feel like me talking during the gunplay doesn't really add much of anything to be honest but i could be wrong everybody looks for different things in different videos i guess that's that's a style that i prefer when i watch a video like this when it's just like pure raw gameplay but i mean like i said everybody's different also another thing, feel free to, if you're at this point of the video, leave a comment telling me how much I suck at a certain aspect of the video. I don't take anything to heart. Telling me how much I suck at a certain thing could probably be the best thing you could do for me. Just so I can like take that information and learn from it. Because honestly, I don't take anything to heart. Well, that's all for this one. See ya.